videos welcome back to the channel guys this is our weekly conversation with your person open conversation whatever they want to talk about whatever the cards bring out that's what we'll be talking about let's jump in let's see whose energy is the strongest for my leos this week y'all know these readings are meant to give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person if that doesn't happen with this reading Check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. This is for my Leos. I'm going to ask your person to show me the energy between you with this deck. But remember, it's from their perspective. The way they see things, not the way you see things. Leos person. Ooh, let's jump in. Ooh, get the deck to quit fighting me here. There we go. Leo's energy between you, please. Bring it out for us. Energy between you. Mm, gonna take our time here. Leo's person. Ooh, they really are. Pop. Right here. We've got soulmate, soulmate connection, a friend, romantic partner, and compatibility. Y'all know when I ask about energy between you, it's the one thing from your person's perspective they feel like you have in common. Something, the energy that you both are exhibiting in the connection towards each other. You're in sync with that one from their perspective. Let's do your energies. Use your intuition to know which one is yours. First person's just fell out. Main lady, they have chosen no interference, focus on one person. Who are you, the main one? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Second person's energy, please. Second person. Second person. Bring it out for us. Ooh, pop on the bottom. Trapped. Uh-oh. In an, in an unpleasant situation, feeling stuck, cannot escape from it. Feeling trapped. Hmm. Okay, let's get them talking. We're going to use the Cosmic Tarot. Let's bring them in on that main focus right now. That main lady. Hmm. Let's get that one more time. What am I hearing on trap situation? Hmm. I don't know. We'll get them to talk on it in a minute. We'll come in over here. Main focus. What do you want to say? Start us out. Just talk to us. Ooh, we got a ten of pentacles protecting your legacy. Yes. But it's also long term thinking out long term, tangible, uh, building your empire. But our ten of pentacles is also about protecting what you have manifested so far, what you have achieved. Ooh, we got Death Scorpio transitioning change and more protection being um, in protective mode. Walk, courage, protect. It's a card of valor. It's not always about protecting yourself in, in you know, your legacy. It's also about protecting someone else mm -hmm. that you feel like needs, needs someone to stand up for them. Find out about the death card. Tell me about the death card. Got a five of swords uh, being defeated. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, the nurturer, and wounded warrior. Nine of Wands. Hmm. So this person, you know, I feel like I'm going to be talking to this person. Their main focus is this person over here. And where this person is feeling stuck in an or just in an unpleasant <clears throat> situation kind of circumstances. This person is very protective over them because it's saying there's something that's making this person feel defeated, small, <laughs> with our five of swords. This person over here has a really good heart, is very nurturing kind of person, and they're uh, wounded in, in the battle. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. So they, this person is in a protective stance over that person. Let's get them to talk on that center card, that soulmate, compatibility, and soul connection. Got truth, Libra, justice, the yin, and the yang. I like that one. There's an opportunity 
opportunity to move forward on something. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Seven of Pentacles. That's showing frustration while you're exhibiting patience. Uh -huh. Then we have our Princess of Swords, our Page of Swords. Communications, our way of thinking, but also the subconscious messenger. Hmm. And being overwhelmed by your thoughts. I'm not picking up a subconscious message on this person. Uh, normally, my uh, guides will throw our page of swords when I can tap into someone's subconscious triggered thought. But I'm not picking it up on this person. They would be more saying that this person is all over the place. That their mind is just, yeah, a whirlwind. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Tying up loose ends, leaving something behind, but moving on to a new phase in our connection. The magician manifesting it, making the magic happen. And Ten of Swords. Ooh, Ten of Swords is a definite big time stress card. It's ready to feel mentally, emotionally, physically drained. Sometimes it can represent other people's. The swords will represent other people's words or opinions coming at you. Uh, a lot of times it uh, can be your own thoughts. Like I said, I'm, I'm picking up, this person keeps telling me over that this person over here, their mind is constantly racing with negative brain chatter. Okay, let's get on to talk over here for a minute. Hmm. I think I think the deck will be okay. I was getting ready to pull a full deck, but I think we still got enough. Let's talk. Talk on trapped in an unpleasant situation. Can I escape from? Hmm. What's going on? Hair font, tradition, belief, the way our thinking, you know, keeps us uh, in in check. Beliefs, but also just faith. Building faith. It's also a card about, because uh, it's Taurus energy, it brings in stability. Stability. Feeling safe. We've got a six cup card of nostalgia, the past. But also sometimes can represent children. What else? That don't want to let go of me. Ten of cups, happiness on earth. Heaven bliss on earth. Ten of Cups energy. We don't reach that Ten of Cups till we've been through hell to get it first. And Two of Swords. Making uncomfortable decisions. Mm -hmm. Mm. So basically what, what this person is, is, is telling me about our person that feels stuck. It's in their own mind. Because it's their beliefs, the way they were raised to believe about certain things, what they should do or shouldn't do, what others are supposed to do, that kind of thing. Their past is really holding them back from a ten of cups, from finding happiness. And they're refusing to come out of their comfort zone of the stability of the traditional beliefs. Uh, sometimes you got to go against the grain. But this person would be refusing with a Two of Swords. Two of Swords is about uh, balance, finding a balance. But it's also about not allowing other people and circumstances to rule over the choices you're making. Hmm. And, and it's, you know, really having to make uncomfortable decisions. This person is choosing to stay in whatever that unpleasant situation is. They're choosing to stay because they feel obligated somehow by... Tradition, faith, belief, the hair font, the Pope. Let's don't, you know, sin here. Hangman, they definitely feel stuck. They're uh, trying to get a different perspective on the way they're thinking and seeing things. But, you know, definitely feeling stuck like they're having to sacrifice a lot. Hmm. Okay. We've got moon card on the bottom of the deck. Subconscious fears and patterns. Guys, oh, okay. Let's pull up the majority of the deck. We're going to leave the first cards that came out to give me a cue uh, to remember what was said on each one. Let's hold the energy on the 
the deck for my Leos. Let me get on top in here. Let's pull the message deck. It's for my Leos. So I'm coming in on that Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. I've got one on the bottom. My heart is hurt and bruised, but I won't give up. What else? This time I'll do things right. Please trust me. Mm -hmm. We will be a family to each other. What else? I know you're used to being with someone more attractive. What else? Healing, healing, healing. Let's get on talk over here on the center, the soulmate. What do you want to say on that? I can't imagine life without you. What else? Mm, top one. I regret sabotaging our connection. What else? You're so intimidating. Mm. Got two here. Wait for me. I see a future for us. Let's come over here on the other person's energy on the top. You deserve much more than I can give you. So much more than I can give you. What else? Hmm. Outside interference. Mm -hmm. I love you more than I love myself. What else? Anything else? Yep. Yeah. I'm so nervous. I know there is a reason why we met. And I don't know how much longer I can do this. Oh. Was there anything else before we move on? Yep, there he is. I want to risk it all, but I'm afraid. And I need you standing by my side. Hmm. Let's right take the message decks and we'll go back to the tarot. Okay, let's see what else they want to bring out here. Let's push up. Come on, Leo's person, Leo's. Talk to us. Anything else you want to say? Ooh, got the two of swords making uncomfortable decisions. Mm -hmm. Coming out of our comfort zone. What else is standing? Wounded warrior again. And the chariot card. Mm. Victory card. Determination to overcome the battle that we feel wounded in. And, but also to pull opposing forces into alignment and go in the same direction. Get ourselves pointed in the same direction. Mm. Tell me about the chariot. Nine of swords. Obsessing, obsessive thoughts, defeating thoughts, but also can sometimes represent other people talking. Commitment. Gemini's lovers and judgment. Rebirth. Ooh. Just with these two cards, it's telling me that we actually do the outside influences, maybe family or friends or someone uh, that uh, may be talking about our connection, our relationship not being good with each other. Mm -hmm. Other people's judgment about our relationship keeps pulling us apart because we're, we're clarifying on the charity card. Keeps pulling us apart and causing problems. What else? What else? What do you want to share about that? Now, oh, three of pentacles is to work together. The blueprint to get in alignment. Headed in the same direction. Patience with our temperance card. And a prince of wands. A Sagittarius, the mover, the shaker. Uh-huh. Action. Going into action about what you're truly passionate about. And then our high priestess. Our high priestess is about intuitive connections. Tell me about more about the high priestess, please. 
Uh, with, with that ten of swords popping out, it's like this person is saying they intuitively know who that outside influence is, is that's disrupting the balance between you, the give and the take between you. Uh huh. Somebody. So it. It's like somebody secretly whispering into this person's ear, uh, negative thoughts and in, influencing this person about the connection in whoever's doing the whispering would not actually say it to this person's face. Mm -hmm. But they intuitively know who's causing the rift and the problems that keep pulling us apart. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, what's on the bottom? Six of swords. Six of swords on the bottom is to move away from the storm. Move away from negative influences to a new horizon. Mm -hmm. To leave it behind. Tell me about the Two of Swords real quick. Let's talk on that Two of Swords about making those uncomfortable hard decisions. It's a turning point. Eight of Cups energy. King of Pentacles. Stability Taurus energy. And Prince of Wands. Uh, to move towards stability. Like I said. And on the bottom is the Ace of Wands. To really become passionate. And go into action about. Uh, making. Solid decision to. Uh, whatever influence there is. That keeps pulling our. Chariot in different directions. Uh, it's time to put. Put that out of our life. To abandon that. For stability. And take action towards it right now. That's what this person's saying. Ooh, okay. Let's hold the energy just in case I need the deck again. Let's get them talking again to us. Mm. Ooh, y'all know I had to get some water. So my Leo's person talk to us. Let's come in on the two of swords. Not allowing other people's opinions and outside uh, situations to influence our choices. Talk to us on that. Talk to us what you want to say. I dream of a future with you. Mm -hmm. I want to head towards that stability. Be practical about it. Double standards. If somebody's got some double standards. Your person is thinking... There is double standards going on. I worry that you have a bad opinion of me. Mm -hmm. You're making it really hard to stay away. Here, one more pink one. I know you deserve better than what I have been giving you. Let's come in on our nine wands at Wounded Warrior. Letting our guards down a little bit. I was so unfair to you. Commitment scares me. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling to open up to you. What else? I'm healing from my childhood. Childhood traumas. What else? Anything else? Yep. If I can get my fingers to pull it out, y'all. I may not show it, but I miss you. Mm, let's get them talk over here on the chariot for a minute. I'm very drawn to you. We need to talk. Here we're getting two. Just talk to me. And you've been so kind to me. Is there anything else? Obligations stand in the way. Fingers work. I know we have shared many past lives together. Let's do one last shuffle. Is there anything else? Yep. We've got confirmation for someone. We've got May, Taurus, and Gemini. We did get a lot of Taurus coming out in this reading. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's get your person to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final messages from... It's for my Leos. For my Leos. Mm, here we 
getting the roses, the lights out of the rose deck. Oh, we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to say, close us off. I want to be the one you run to. I melt every time I see your smile. There is so much I want to say to you, but I always back out. I can't think straight around you. I wanted to stop after I can't think straight. I can't stand not being there with you. You know you can break my heart. Oh. Last one, guys. Last one. You give me butterflies. Ooh. Leos, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.